faster the fish gets from here to your dinner table, the tastier it'll be. But what's even more important is how it got on this boat in the first place. It's much, much more obscure and cloudy and difficult to get the information you need to make a good decision. To find sustainable seafood, you have to know your fish facts. Keep two keys in mind. Where your fish was found and how it was caught. Location matters most. The closer to our coast, the better. Seafood that's caught in the United States, especially on the Pacific Coast, is very well managed. San Diego fisheries are, are, are you know, next to perfect, the, some of the best in the world. So if you can get San Diego fish, then you know it's caught in a sustainable way. You should also know the catch method that brought the fish to your table. Old-fashioned hook and line fishing is preferred over trawling the water with nets. Unfortunately, the most popular seafood in the United States, probably worldwide, is shrimp. And it is one of the least sustainably harvested pieces of seafood out there. Keep an eye on the seafood watch list. Anything in the red column is probably overfished and underregulated, so you should avoid eating it. Seafood in the orange or green columns is plentiful enough to keep on your plate. In San Diego, you want to eat a lot of white sea bass, California halibut, um, yellowtail, sardines. You live in San Diego and we have uh, you know, a wide variety of seafood here. There's no reason why you shouldn't be eating local fish. Now, sustainable seafood is really a complex topic, and even the experts have trouble explaining it. So to help you sort it out, the Monterey Bay Aquarium has created a seafood watch guide, and you can even print one for yourself. I posted a link at sandiego6.com slash green. And guys, if you learn anything from this story, let it be this. Shop local. The closer to San Diego your seafood was caught, the better odds that it's sustainable and fresh. So, yeah, so you're saying there's so many things to think about, but if we're, we were to boil it down, you, you had some good points. When we're eating out, what are the key things we want to remember? It's a little bit difficult when you're eating out, but Fisherman John told me that if the restaurateur knows the name of the guy that caught your fish, you're in good shape. <laughs> and they don't care if you ask. So you can say, hey, how did this fish get here? Who, who catches it for you? If they know off the tip of their tongue, odds are it's fresh, it's sustainably caught, and you're in good shape. If they don't know, mm, kind of dicey. There's, there's some error there. What about farm-raised? Farm-raised, I never realized this. I was kind of disappointed. You've heard of farm-raised salmon, which mm -hmm. is a great example. It happens a lot. Farm-raised doesn't happen in, in a great sustainable way. There are some farms that do sustainable fishing, and especially with salmon. But unless you know a lot about the farm, it's not a good bet to go with farm-raised. And, and I'll tell you why. The reason we eat salmon is because we hear it's so good for us, right? It has right. those omega-3s and makes our skin and hair and everything beautiful. Well, farm-raised salmon get the, don't get those nutrients because what they're eating in those farms are usually pellets, and they're made of corn and grain and things like that. The reason salmon have all those wonderful oils is because in the wild, they eat sardines and anchovies and things like that. And so if you're getting the farm-raised salmon, you're probably not getting the health benefits that you would hope. So you want to go with wild-caught salmon. When you're out shopping, if you're at the market, it'll say on the label, wild-caught or farmed. Right, and we'll just bring our seafood watch guide with us, so that'll help. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so impressed that Zach on the floor had a seafood oh, watch no! guide in his pocket. He's, he's on top of it already. He is. It's from the Monterey Bay Aquarium, and they have, I posted a link to their website, too, because there's a ton of information on their website, and more than I could ever tell you in the time that we have. Okay, and real quickly before we go. Yes, ma'am. Saying goodbye to shrimp. Oh, Renee, I'm so disappointed. I eat shrimp all the time, but yes, it is very overfished, very underregulated. It's almost never from anywhere close to us. If you can take one thing off your list, get rid of shrimp, but I don't want to leave you hanging, so I asked Fisherman John about it. He said a great replacement for shrimp is called spot prawns. They're caught right off the coast of San Diego. You can get them nice and fresh. He said they taste even better than shrimp. You won't even miss shrimp once you try them. So At our local spot grocery prawns. Stores? He said, yes, you, you have to ask for them, and, and you're better off at, at a, with a fishmonger or, you know, maybe not at your neighborhood, you know, grocery store. You're going to have to hunt for them, but he said, totally worth it. Tastes better anyway. You'll never miss the shrimp Ooh, anyway. I love it. All right. A spot prawn salad will be our, our next adventure. <laughs> we'll give it a try this weekend. What do you think? <laughs> that sounds great. Thank All you right. so much, Erin. You bet.